Hello everyone, this is Raj Kishan Ghosh from Blender File and today let's talk all about the normal map node. Here I have a simple cube which is UV unwrapped and has a basic diffuse material. Now we will use the normal map to give it some fake geometry so that it looks a lot more detailed. So we go to the node editor and press shift A then vector and then normal map. Now we plug the normal output to the normal input socket of the diffuse. As you can see nothing changes. This is because the normal map node needs an image as the information. So let's add an image texture. We press shift A then texture then image texture. By the way the textures I am using are from textures.com. There are many other sites as well like polygon.com or friendlyshade.com from where you can get these textures. Also we always need to change the color space from color to non-color data if we are using a normal map. Now we plug the image to the color input of the normal map node and now we can see some awesome details on the surface. Next thing the strength is pretty self explanatory. It changes how much the fake details are applied. Lower values result in subtle effects and higher values result in more bumpy details. As we can see by default we can't go lower than zero as normal maps are a little more complex than bump maps and can't go higher than 10. But we can just type in whatever value we want. 10 strength is enough though and we will rarely notice any difference if we go any higher. Next I would like to talk about the colors of the images used for the normal map. Blender uses positive X, positive Y and positive Z format which can be imagined by the following demonstration. If we put the displacement map and normal maps side by side we can get a good idea. In the displacement map the lighter values are more raised up and the darker values are less raised up. Now if we imagine it to have actual depth and shine a green light from upward part of the screen, we would sort of get the green values as seen on the normal map. This is the positive Y format. Similarly, if we shine a red light from right part of the screen, we would sort of get the red values as seen on the normal map. This is the positive X format. Now sometimes we can have normal maps like this one where we can see that the green values as light from the downward direction. So the Y values are in negative Y format. This format positive X, negative Y, positive Z is also needed by some 3D engines like for example Unreal Engine 4. But to use it in Blender we have to correct that. So we add a separate RGB and a combined RGB node. The red and blue values are fine but we will invert the green values. After we do that we have the proper normal map to use in Blender. Finally we can see coordinate space option which is set to tangent space by default. This is the most common space used for normal maps by far. It is slower than the other options little but it is a lot more comfortable to use. This option calculates the bumps as per the tangents of the surfaces. We can see a UV slot below which is only available in tangent space option as tangent space needs to know how much distorted the UV unwrap is. So if the object is undistorted or if we have only one UV map for the object we don't need to change that. In case the UV unwrap is distorted and we have more than one UV map at the same time we have to select which UV map we want for the normal map. A rule of thumb is to use the same UV map as the image used for the normal map. We can see the distortions or otherwise called stretching by checking the stretch option under display. As we can see we have a very small amount of distortion going on here in this example. Anyways we can see that other than tangent space there are world space, blender world space, object space and blender object space. Now these other types are used for using images that are specifically baked for the object. Tangent space can also be baked. 
cycles support objects and tangent space bake whereas blender internal supports to world space bake as well if the object has its transformations applied that is if it has zero rotation and location and a scale of 1 then the object space and world space are same as this example model has its transformations applied so the same texture is applicable to both object and world space now that we have our normals baked let's continue with the spaces for the normal map now if we use the world and object spaces the normal map doesn't show properly i will explain why in a few moments but for now let's focus on blender world and blender object first let's change to blender world space as we can see the normals are fine but if we rotate or scale or move the object the normals shows horrible results next let's change to blender object space now the normals are fine even when we transform the object but if we change the mesh data by say for example shape keys then the normals start to act strange the tangent space takes care of transformations as well as these changes in mesh data now let's come to the difference between blender object space and just the object space any image that we use in blender object space if we invert the green and blue channels it changes to object space so here we use a separate rgb and a combined rgb and invert the green and blue channels and now it can be used in object space similarly the blender world space images can be converted to world space images by inverting the green and blue channels as a summary for the space options the world space and blender world space are the fastest but they need to be baked and are only applicable to static meshes the object space as well as blender object space are slower they also need to be baked can be used on objects with transformations as long as the actual mesh data is not deformed the tangent space is comparatively the slowest can be baked but also can be used without baking like for example the most common tiled normals which are used everywhere can be used with transformed objects as well as with deformed mesh data and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you learned something new don't forget to leave a like other than that i will see you next time